Vitamin D deficiency in this country is a pandemic. So many people are vitamin D deficient. We have to have vitamin D because it controls about 3,000 genes in our body. If those genes aren't controlled properly, we get ill. Vitamin D deficiency correlates to many, many cancers. One of those cancers is melanoma. If we become vitamin D deficient, we have more risk of getting melanoma. Isn't that interesting? Now, since 1935, the Melanoma International Foundation at least tells us that we've increased by 3,000%. That's a 30 times increase in the risk of melanoma since that time. Now, you would expect, if they're right about staying out of the sun, that probably people are really getting into the sun over those years since 1935. The fact is that we get into the sun a fraction of the time that we used to since 1935. We don't play uh, outdoors as much. We work indoors. And when we go out, we put on sunscreens. And you know what? The Environmental Protection Agency has told us that there is absolutely no indication that sunscreens inhibit the risk of melanoma whatsoever. They don't. Sunscreens are a chemical slop that probably helps lead to melanoma. We're still going up 3% per year in the risk of melanoma. But at the same time, we're applying more and more sunscreens. Everybody's afraid of the sun. Everybody puts the chemical slop on and it makes them ill. Now, the next time that you go out into the sunlight, you ask yourself, do I want high vitamin D so I can inhibit, inhibit cancers and heart disease and so many other diseases, 205 of them, or 105, excuse me, of those that I talk about in my book, or do I want to be well? The next time you think about putting that chemical slop on your body, think twice. Thank you.